Hello everybody. We have come again with another wonderful movie titled The Masked Lady. We have received a lot of testimonies from different people across the globe telling us a lot of things that God has done in their lives when they watch our movies and we give God all the praise. I believe that you cannot watch this movie, The Masked Lady, without being blessed. But one thing I want you to do for me, please subscribe to Ogongo TV, share and like. Because when you do this, you are helping us to make people get blessed the more as they will see this movie more often because the YouTube will recommend it for more people to see. I believe that you believe in us, as I believe in you that we can work together to make people get more blessed with these movies. As you sit tight to watch this movie, I pray that God will bless you mightily. Thank you. Sarah, wake up. I must. 
Sarah, wake up! You are sleep talking. Look, where? Yeah. Look, where? Yeah. Look, where? Yeah. Look, where? Yeah. You sent a mail to me just now. Please check it. <laughs> the mail is not meant for me. Besides, there are so many typographical errors in there. What? I was after part with it when I was sleeping. I, I thought I sent it to the company. I will work on it right away. Sarah, are you fine? I'm very good. See, your eyes swollen. You look so exhausted. Are you sure you've been sleeping lately? I'm good. I attended an online class yesterday night and I've not slept. Plus, I took office work home. Oh. Complete, yeah. Try avoiding taking night lectures during weekday. You, just imagine. The mail was not sent to me. Imagine you sent it to me. You, you came in at the right time. You can start going now before they start looking for you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, you're welcome. But make sure you rest after work. Thank you, Irene. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Douglas. Hello. See me in my office now. I just received a call from the procurement manager of Spintex saying that he's here to see our quotation. Why have you not sent it? I'm very sorry, sir. I sent it before coming to your Are office. Are you very sure? Yes, sir. You were the most diligent of all when I joined here two years ago. You were intelligent, hardworking, but alas, the story has changed. You made us lose a contract that should have taken this company to the next level. I'm very sorry, sir. No, 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 no. no. That story of yours will not make any difference. You should have sent this quotation since Friday. You're just sending it now. If we lose this contract, trust me, I will not forgive you. I forgave you the other time just because you were recuperating. It won't happen again, sir. I'm very, very sorry. Please, can I ask you some private questions? In as much as I do not like prying into people's privacy, but obviously, Sarah, there's something wrong with you. I'm fine, thank you, sir. There's nothing wrong with me. Sarah, you think you can keep things away from me? Uh, no, 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 no. I know you quite well. This was not the lady that welcomed me to this company when I joined here two years ago. I excited me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. This looks good. And I like this. This looks so beautiful. <laughs> so you're welcome, sir. Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. Don't be free to ask for anything you want. Thank you very much for the warm reception. Oh you are indeed a beautiful lady with a beautiful smile. Oh, you make me blessed, sir. <laughs> but don't let me bother you. Let me allow you to sit with All right. Me. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Do not hesitate to call me if you need anything. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. And you're welcome once again. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. Wow. Where are your beautiful smiles? Where is your very amazing dress sense? You no longer even care about how you look to work. You dress shabbily. You do not look good at all. What has happened to you? Sarah, you can talk to me. I feel honored to sit and discuss this with you, sir. 
Some people petitioned against me to get me out of work because of the mistakes I made. Thank you for always being there for me, Dad. Sarah, I even noticed that you started making avoidable mistakes immediately after your wedding. Something is definitely off. You can talk to me. Sometimes, sir, uh, I put in for an online course that has been taking so much of my time, but I'll walk it up. Can I ask you for a favor, sir? All right, go ahead, not a problem. I want to talk about this later. I have a lot to clear on my table, sir. Well, not a problem. But when would that be? Before the week runs out, sir. Thank you so much for your concern. I'm sorry for sending the face quotation late. Not a problem. Sarah, you look very, very stressed. Please, take good care of yourself, okay? Now, when will she be awake? She will be awake any moment from now. Her condition is stable. She's fine. Make sure she eats immediately she wake up. Yeah, I already ordered some food for her. They'll soon be here. That's nice. Um, doctor, what happened to her? I'll be back to check on her. Please tell her husband to see me when he comes. Okay, Doctor, but what happened to her? She slumped at work. Are you a family member? No, she's my colleague. And she slumped, then we brought her here. Thank you for helping her. I want to see your other patient. I will be back to check on her. What is wrong with this doctor? He just insulted me. <laughs> Was it wrong for me to have asked what happened to her? Well, I'm just being caring. But then, I think Sarah must have had an abortion. <laughs> but why should she have an abortion? She's married. Maybe it's not her husband who is responsible for this pregnancy. Who could be? Oh. Maybe Mr. Banji. Because the way that man covers up for her in the office. Hmm. Anyways, I'll still get to know what happened to her. We couldn't wait for you before we take her in for the procedure. She was brought here unconscious. It's okay, doctor. Thank you. We thank God. Have you seen your wife? Uh, yes, I met her eating, and a friend told me he wanted to see me. I want us to discuss about your wife. <sighs> okay, doctor. But, oh, there's no problem. No. Okay. Is it the first spontaneous abortion she had? What? You mean she has been terminating my pregnancies? No. You are getting me wrong. I only say she terminated her pregnancy. Spontaneous abortion is another term for miscarriage. Uh, I thought she was aborting my pregnancies. You have not answered my question. Is it a forced miscarriage? <sighs> this is the second. When was her last miscarriage? Six months ago, Doctor. How many children do you have? None. Our marriage is just 18 months. Then, what could be the cause of the miscarriage? I think she will be in the best position to answer this question. I will still talk to her, but I need to talk to you first. We noticed some fresh scars on her body.
during the procedure, and that could definitely contribute to the miscarriage. Well, this must be the scars she got from the injury she sustained when she fell in the bathroom last month. Who? Oh, really? Does she undergo a lot of stress? Honestly, doctor, she doesn't undergo any stress. Most times, I personally make sure I prepare dinner so that all she does after coming from work is just to eat and rest. How much is the bill? Our boss has filled the bill. Huh. Oh, okay. Daniela, make sure you sleep on time. No late night movies. Mom. Okay? Have you forgotten I'm not Nanga Echai? I know what is right. <laughs> my friend, you are just 19. You are still my child, even if you plus 50. Don't start seeing yourself as an adult. <laughs> you cracked me up, Mom. Have you forgotten you had me at 20? That means you got married at 19. Does that mean you married as a child? Are you questioning me? Eh? No, Mom. I don't mean to disrespect you. I'm just trying to prove a point. Stop being naughty. Let me start going, okay? It's getting late. Mom, should I come with you? You can't follow me. The video is for mothers. Mm. Besides, why did you even come without calling me? I came home to visit Emmy and Esther because Friday is their open day. Mm. Today is Tuesday. Friday is still far. Are you sure you are not up to something? Something like what, Mom? Are you not happy to see me? This is my free week and I decided to visit you at home. It's okay. This is fascinating. Please lock the doors. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm on my way. No, we forgot this. You should know I'm driving at night. I'm not going with my car. Safe. Of course, you are. So it's still in essay, so why are you looking so churchy? So, mom is still dating Dickie Matthew. No wonder she doesn't want me to follow her. <laughs> now I understand. Daniela is around. Oh. She came home this afternoon. But you didn't tell me she was going to come. She didn't tell me either. I told her I was going to church. Oh, no wonder you're looking at mommy Gio. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still using the same guest house? No, now for security reasons, you know. So now we've got to change things here and there. Anyway, I just checked in into another hotel and uh, we don't need to go through the reception. You are right, so... Can be safe? You're fine? I told them I was out of town. <laughs> You're a smart guy. See who's talking. <laughs> Bad <laughs> Come on, let's go.
Wow, see this sexy babe. I can't wait to deal with all those big men. I will make some cool cash. Good to go. Just nice. Hey, babe. Are you at the gate? Oh, I'm the only one at home. Come and pick me up at the gate. Is Alex there with you? Okay, come and pick me up at the gate. Mommy make things easier. Well, she went to enjoy herself. That is enjoying herself with Betty's sister, South Africa. Anyway, life is meant to enjoy. I have to go and make some cool cash. I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked and not ashamed For you know me inside and out, Master I come just as I am, save me from myself I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked and not ashamed. For you know me inside and out, Master. I come just as I am, save me from myself. Oh, oh. I can't hide hey. behind the mask anymore. Sarah, why did you resign? Did you get a better job? Or are you relocating? I was surprised when I saw your resignation letter in my mailbox. Why didn't you bring it in person? Is everything okay? Is that why you called me here, sir? Yes. I was very worried. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> Sarah, you do not look like someone that is into any form of business. Ah, ah. Don't worry, sir. Soon you start seeing the results. Sarah, your eyes are saying something totally different from what you just said. Why do you find it so difficult to trust me? Sarah, am I a bad person? No, you're not. I'm just too weak to have this conversation. Really? Is it that bad? I'm fine. Thanks for your concern, sir. Sarah, I can't use anything, anything at all against you. Feel free to talk to me, Sarah. Talk to me. Why are you this persistent? What do you want from me? I'm not interested in any dirty game. Dirty game? And who is playing any game? I'm not into any game at all. Is that why you don't want to talk to me? Sir, if you wear my shoes, you will do worse. But Sarah, is it that bad? I know what you're thinking, but I am not that kind of a person. I don't 
just give my trust to people. They need to earn it. Sarah, do you know we met for a purpose? No, oh, Jeremy. I may not look religious at all, but I have a very good relationship with God. I never said contrary. I may not know what is totally wrong with you, but I'm sure it has to do with your marriage. Your guess strong, sir. Sarah, this is not about guessing. Life is too short. Stop patching things up. Speak up and get help. Sarah, I am here to help you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. Uh, you're not a good motivational speaker. <laughs> I know you're not laughing. But you're trying to fight back those tears in your eyes. And what gave you the assurance sir, that you know how I feel? Do you really know why I never gave up on you? Why? Three years ago, I was planning to propose to my friend, Yetunde. But a night before that, I had a dream that made me pause on that proposal. Okay. And in that dream, God gave me a name. Sarah Morenike Odumosu. Guess what? I met you the following year and I realized that was your full name. <laughs> and how so sure are you that I am the Sarah? I'm not the only one that bears Sarah in the whole world. Wait, let me bust your bubble. So during my youth service at um, Castina, there was someone bearing the exact full name that I bear. So <laughs> maybe God is just telling you that he has a woman in store for you somewhere. It's not necessary, my own Sarah. Sarah, my spirit was connected to you. The very first day I set my eyes on you, even without knowing that you were the one. <laughs> when you introduced yourself to me, I had that strong feeling that you were the one. So why didn't you say anything before my wedding? We were together a few months before I got married, so why are you just telling me now? I was only taking my time and praying carefully to be sure that you were the one. At this my age, I do not want to make any mistake. But do you know that the day that I planned to propose to you, that was the day you came into my office telling me that you were planning to get married. Even though you did not invite any one of us to your wedding and you stated that you were having a private wedding. Stop it! You're taking this thing too far. I know you are meant for me. But I don't know who is at fault. Whether I proposed too late or you entered into a relationship too early. I think I have to leave now. We'll see some other time. Sarah, but wait. Let me drop you off. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Ah, Sarah. Let me drop you off now, Sarah. I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked in another shade. For you know me inside and out, Master. What have I done? myself I just as I am where, where did I get it all wrong I, I thought my Owa brought joy into my life but I was wrong Lord, I <laughs> who was Benji when I was waiting for a suto Bafemi, please, I beg you, don't do this to me. Our introduction is just a few days away. What will people say? I beg you now, please. Let's settle this thing amicably, please. I will try to make it as possible not to be angry. But please, if you want to talk to me, 
that murder fell on you, you did it and remove it, please. Oh, okay, Femi, please. Don't do this to me, I beg you. No problem, I won't call you brother again. Just please, listen to this thing. I beg you now, please. So why are you begging me? I told you times without number that my ex left me because of my sexual activities. And I don't want any sexual drama in marriage. Do you get my point? Now if I talk to you, you tell me you can't give your body to me. So what will I do? Before I say anything, you tell me you are you belong to one of these stupid sexual purity advocates or something. Eh? I never knew you don't love me. I love you very much now, but Femi, you know this. Okay, let's wait till our wedding. I will satisfy you. Just please, don't let us do this now, Sarah, please. Sarah, you wasted 15 months of my life to a relationship that will not end up in my life. Huh? Abby? But let me just ask you. What are you keeping? We both know now. We both know that you are not a virgin. You know, Abby. You know now. But why you be saying all of this to me now? I thought you were a believer. Don't you have a conscience? You must be crazy. You must be crazy. Oh, you want to tell me that you don't know all this before you say yes to me? Okay. Didn't you pray about my proposal before you say yes to me? Oh. So you want to tell me that God did not reveal to you that I will not go into marriage with you without testing your sexual activities. So, you must be deceiving yourself. So, you are the one deceiving yourself. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for everything. See, my mom has already invited all her friends. Please, I'm begging you, don't let us do this. Please. Then tell them I'm no longer interested. Ha. Please shut my mouth. Okay, 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 please, please. Just tell me anything you want. I'm ready to do it. Please, please. Do you know what you just said? Since that's the only way to keep you, and I'm, I'm, I'm already used to you. I can as well just, you can just go inside. Any, anything you want. Yeah, then let's have it. Right, right here. Is there any problem with that? Oh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my my. Ah. See, are you kidding or what? No, let me tell you straight. Get this into your score. Get it into your score. I can't change my mind. I'm done. You don't get it. I'm done. Please, please. And again, listen to me. See, I don't force ladies to sleep with me. I don't force them. Now, if we do it, I won't enjoy it. Even you won't either. So why are you bothering yourself? It's coming from my mind. It's coming from my mind. Let's just go inside. It's coming from my mind. It's coming from your mind. Then why are you crying? Why are you crying? See, you have to take your things and get out of this place. Do you get me? Mommy, it's you. Don't come and fit here. Please. Don't come and fit. And for your information, my baby is on her way coming. Don't let her meet you here. Please, I beg. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Different things. Ah. Yeah. Mom, you're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah. Yes, mommy. You are welcome. Thank you, mommy. So how was the party? Ah, it went well. Mm. It was a simple but elegant one. Mm. And I really enjoyed myself. Wow. Ah. Really? <laughs> yes, mommy. So, my poor Juju, my girl, Osha. So, you don't know? You don't know you are older than Jumoke that got married today? Mm -hmm. So, mommy, what are you driving at now? Can't you just sit down? Can't you just sit and think about your life? Can't you sit and think about your life? Your two younger sisters are married. Happily married, happily settled. Yes! Mary will soon put to bed. Christina is carrying her second baby. And I know she will soon put to bed. But look at you. You are busy jumping up and down. Jumping from one party to another. Eating party rice. Eating jollof rice. Like a pregnant woman. 
Mommy, why do you enjoy seeing me sad? Eh? Why do you keep comparing me to my sisters that got married in school? Uh, like, what's your gain in frustrating me? What do you stand to gain? Uh, who is frustrating you? I'm not frustrating you. Mm -mm. And I will never frustrate you. I'm only pointing your attention to the important things that you failed to notice. Those things are important. Ah! Sarah! Ah! How many times have I called you, begged you, that you should follow me to go and see my prophet for cleansing? No! You refused. But not until you bring a man to this house. I will not allow you to have peace. Okay. Don't worry. I will pack out of your house. Uh, before I call, <laughs> tell him, call. Pack him! Pack out! If that will allow you to think straight and behave well. Yes! Look at Femi. See Femi. Femi is now in UK. With his son and wife. This is your holier than thou attitude made you lose it. But now, see you. Look at your life. When you are not getting younger, so now you are not getting younger. Maybe I need to remind you. Next month, you will be 30. Mommy, stop it. Mommy, stop now. Uh, ha! Why do you always allow the devil to use you for me? Me? Eh? Allow the devil to use me for you. Mommy, I've heard enough, please. I've heard enough. No, Allah. Uh. When you bring a man home, you will have peace. If you don't bring a man here, there is no peace. There is no peace for the wicked, says the Bible. Even, even my friend, my friend introduced a nephew to you. Hirao, you refuse to date this guy as handsome, loving, wonderful, rich. Oh my God. Ah, oh, someone. Oh, someone. Oh, someone. And you want to have peace in this house? Oh, possible. It is not possible. Your mates, they, they have even stopped giving back to children. Sarah, go and marry. Over here, they worry you. Go and marry. Mom pushed me out. And I became desperate to settle down. Just to prove to her that I don't have bad luck. And eventually, I got it wrong. Mayowa appeared as an angel. Whereas, uh, our courtship is one month old today. <laughs> you are really my missionary. I can no longer do anything without you. You are just my perfect match. <laughs> I'm glad I met you, and I'm glad I did not miss you. <laughs> Your presence brought joy to my life. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait for us to get married. When are you taking me to mom? You know, I don't mind us getting married next month. Next month? Yes. Isn't that too sudden? <laughs> Have you forgotten it's just a month that we met each other? Me, I'm planning a year court people and I need to take my time. I love you. And I can't stop loving you. Even if we spend 10 years in courtship, it changes nothing. See, I've told you all about myself. I've given nothing from you. Remember you told me, Mommy, I've been waiting to meet your parents. Don't keep her waiting. Let's meet her this week. <laughs> I still need to inform her before taking you to her. And that will be next week or next month. Can I can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Anything for you, my queen. But next month is too far. See, I'm not comfortable with us coming here to talk every time in church. This place is just too open. And very soon people start suspecting that we are dating. Their suspicion does not bother me. See, we are meant to have witness us getting married. Or are we too young to be in a marital relationship? No. See, you have told me not to come to your house alone. I don't get it. The, 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 the last time I visited your house, I saw your brother and... You see, we, we need our, our privacy sometimes. You know that, right? I'm really sorry about that. I would put this any amusement park around to talk. What do you think? I already told you you can visit. Come to my house. 
I already told you I live alone. Come to my house. Okay. The thing is, I find you so irresistible. See, I'm only doing this to prevent premarital sex. You know, I know how I feel when I'm around you. You know, I could make advances at you and from there, you know, let's just get married. Let's get married so I can have you all to myself. I can't wait, girl. I can't wait. Though it's rare for for people to see men not wanting sex during their courtship, and I'm, I'm I give it to you, you are good at that. But still, that should not push us into rushing into marriage before we are ready for it. We are not really fully ready, you know. I'm fully ready. I am. I am fully ready. Let's meet, please. Very fast. Daddy, good evening, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Well, I'm why I thought you have left. Uh, yeah, we'll be going now, sir. Yes, we'll be going now, sir. Just take your time. It's your father's house. God bless you. Amen, Daddy, we are all leaving, sir. I tried, but the way he showers love on me just couldn't help me concentrate. Does that mean you did not pray? Though I prayed, but I didn't wait to hear from God before accepting his proposal. Bro, my wife is a newcomer. He has not even spent up to three months in our church. Though he said he was a worker in his former church before relocating to this place. But I have not seen any trace of such in him. Sir, he's a kind man. It's just that. Sometimes he keeps, he, I think he loves to keep to himself most times. And um, he's a shy type as well. Do you really know him? Who is he? Romayowa should be in his 40s. Has he not been into any relationship in the past? I, he, he told me about his past. Ladies always take advantage of his kind heart and every time he spends money on them, they just run away. Uh, sir, I, I, I want to believe that he's a nice man and besides, he's just 40. 40, he clocked 40 recently. You see, I like you to be sincere with yourself. Getting married to someone you barely know is dangerous. <sighs> Let me tell you, people come to church these days for marital settlement, especially to get godly brothers and sisters. Many of these people pretend as believers to get what they want. Do you really know who brother Mayowa is? Daddy, is there something you know about him? Is it, it looks like there's something you want to tell me. But you didn't carry me along. Some church workers told me that you're dating him. I did not believe until I saw you with him. See, your, your body language has shown me or explain everything I need to know. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just wanted to be sure that everything was sorted out before informing you, sir. But you should know that it is not right to accept a proposal without informing your assembly pastor. I know, sir. But what happened to me in the past made me keep to myself, sir. I resigned from being the church choir mistress. 
after my relationship with Femi hit the rock. Femi left me to marry Kike, my best friend. And everybody blamed me without even hearing my side of the story. A few weeks before our supposed um, introductory ceremony, Femi asked me to sleep with him. And because I refused, he left me. I was mocked. People saw me as a carrier of bad luck. Even my mom was frustrated, like she was even passing that frustration on me. It was too much for me. I had to keep to myself. Um, I, I wouldn't want you to see that as a, a failure. It's okay, my sister. It's okay. Please. I don't want you to see that as a failure. God protected you from marriage failure. No, by making Femi misbehave. You might have been deceived and thought that he's the right man for you. But God turned the table around to your favor. Please, forget about the people. Focus on God. That is what I've been doing, sir. And I thank you for your support always, sir. You should not jump into any relationship now without getting clarity from God. I want you to allow God to heal the injury that you have sustained from the previous relationship before entering into another one. Because if you fail again this time, honestly, people will see Femi as a victim and you as the wicked one. I love my Owa, and anytime I'm around him, I am at peace. I called you here because of what I saw about my Owa. Okay, sir. When I confirmed that you are in a relationship with him, I went to God in prayers, though I was angry because you did not inform me. But later, I thought that Maybe your past relationship experience may be responsible for you keeping things to yourself. Thank you so much for your understanding, sir. I really appreciate you, sir. It's alright. I saw something strange about Mayowa. Steven, I'm around your house. Oh. I'll call you back. A madman? That was what I saw about him. Daddy, you have to help me. Eh, I've already taken him to my parents as, and I've seen his as well. We're just waiting for my father's family to pick a date for the wedding before informing you. I would advise that you put everything on hold and go back to God in prayers. I know that God will speak to you if you pray. Daddy, it's beyond what you are thinking. My mom pestered me to get married. Femi's case brought rifts between us. We just settled last month. And our prophet said, Mayowa is the right man for me. I don't want to break it. Okay, okay. Let me put it out straight to you. With what I just shared with you, 
Do you still want to go ahead? Daddy, I don't doubt your anointing and relevance. But is it that Mayowa will become a madman in the future? Or is there something about his family that we need to pray about? It's not from a polygamous family. So I can't really relate the madness to... I don't see where I can... I don't know. Daddy... You see, um, that question, I cannot answer it. All I know is that that revelation is pointing towards something. Something important. See, I believe in prayers, Daddy. He said, can you please pray for us to avert any future problems that might be coming our way? If that is what you want, no problem. I will join you in prayers. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. But do you know that most times the problems that arise from marriage failure affect the women more? Honestly speaking, women are at the receiving hand when there's problem in the home. You still have the opportunity to make a choice now. But if you have decided to go on, no problem, you should be prepared to bear the responsibility and also bear the pains. Let us pray. I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked and not ashamed. For you know me inside and out, Master. I come just as I am, save me from myself. Oluwa yomi adeneka. You're welcome, Baba. Are you surprised to see Sarah in mask? <sighs> yes, I am. I've been wondering who the mask lady is. Don't be surprised. <laughs> Sarah is not only masked lady. <gasps> there are many... Women. Men and, and men women in mask. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Why are they all in mask? Uh, I notice that they have one thing in common. Uh, but they are in blacks. Does that mean they are evil? No. People wear blacks when they are grieving. Hmm. Those people you see in there, they are wallowing in darkness. They are depressed. Uh, uh, keeping it to themselves, but wearing masks to conceal the identity. <laughs> do they have to do that? Anyway, if they don't wear masks, I will recognize them. Hmm. Because they know if they open up to you, you will judge them. 
rather than helping them. Many people that appeared fine, they are not fine, but they pretend to be fine. Because you and others, you are not ready to, to overcome their, their, their struggles. You are only after what they bring to church and how their activities can expand your church. But there's no way I can do what they are passing through when they choose to keep things to themselves. You know I mean? I can't take excuse from you. They are my people and I know what they are going through. Why can't you inquire from me? I have been busy, very busy promoting the gospel work. You left your primary assignment, you know I mean? And you started doing what pleases you. These people come to my house to receive healing to life issues. But you do not care about their affairs. Have you forgotten that I choose you to be a shepherd and looking after my sheep? I, I, I remember, sir. I remember. You refuse to care for the sheep that are left in your care. Instead, you keep acquiring more sheep to yourself even to the extent of stealing from your, from other shepherds. How will you know that the new help when you don't care? But rather, using them to gain popularity and wealth. If you organize programs just to enrich your pocket and gain more followers, not to win souls. Ah! Father, I am very sorry. I am ready to correct my wrongs. Please don't replace me. Please. Don't replace me, Father. I will adjust. I will do the need for. Please. Please. Jesus. <sighs> So Sarah is the one wearing a mask. And there are other ones in the church also wearing a mask. God forgive me. I'm sorry, love. She's not picking it. She should be at home by now. It's about 6 p.m. Okay. Thank you for coming, Oswala. Mr. Mayowa, I need to make things clear to you. It's not safe me coming here often. I'm only doing this out of pity, and it is against the ethic of my job. I can't risk it being caught, because my license will be revoked. I, I, I really thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing for me. But don't leave me to this. You're my only hope. Then you need to take things easy. If anything happens, I will deny you. I don't know you. Thank you for all you do. I promise to always take this easy from now on. Thank you for always being there. Thank you. Please keep to your promise. I rushed down here when you called me. I need to go now. I understand. Th thank you so much. Please confirm the payment. All right, no problem. I'll be expecting you tomorrow. I'll come very early tomorrow. Thank you. All right.
Come on, come sir. That's strange. Actually, I just finished speaking with her a little moment ago, and um, probably she, she must be busy with something. Uh, I'm sure she'll call you back when she sees your call, sir. Is, is she at work? Why was she close for today? Why would she get home? I, I really need to see her. It's urgent. Uh, she resigned last month, sir. I, I thought she told you. Resigned from work? Yes, sir. Why? Uh, I'm not aware. I hope all is well. Well, actually, sir. She complained about the stress. And the doctor also said the stress contributed to the two miscarriages she had. So, she had to quit. Luckily for us, my earnings are still enough to cater for the family. So she has not really been touching her salary. We hope to open up a business for her very soon, sir. So, uh, where is she now? Um, she, she went to their family house to see her mom. But she may not be back today, sir. I can actually take your message for her. No. Um, I, I, I really need to see her. Um, please, tell her to see me in the office when she comes back. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. It's all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My greetings to mommy, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Was close. He almost got me. Can explain, dear. You have nothing to say because I know you are still dating him. I stopped you from that job. Yet you sneak out to sleep with him. Can you listen to me? I am not dating Banji. You stopped me from everything I practically loved, and I yielded just to think that it will change. But no, I even paint you to the whole world as the best husband, despite the fact that you beat me up like a child. And I lost to pregnancy in the process! Will you shut your trap? You did not lose any pregnancy. You aborted them so you could enjoy Banji. So you think if I'm dating Banji, I will still be with you? I am only enjoying all this because I don't want to be mocked. I am not a fool! I am not a fool! And do you think I would have married you if I knew that you were nothing but a bitch? From now on, you are not stepping out of this house for any reason. <laughs> you must be joking. See, I don't have strength for all this stress this afternoon. Forget it. Come back here. <laughs> 
I need you here. She passed out. My wife. And it, I, I thought she was joking and I, I, I kept it in her. Please, I don't want anything to happen to my wife. It's an emergency. Please. Yes, please, I'll be expecting you, please. Sarah. Oh my God. Sarah. I don't know what came over me. I promise you, this will not happen again. What would you like to eat so I can get it for you? My love. Anymore. No, 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 please, don't say that. Nothing will happen to you. I can't live without you, and you know it. I love you with the whole of my heart. I can't afford to lose you. And that is why when I see any other man with you, it gets me hungry. No woman has ever tolerated me like you do. Please, please, pardon my excesses. I promise you, I won't hit you again. You've said this countless times. You never change. You never change. You just keep beating me and locking me up in the guest room. Even to the pastor I went to visit my mom. You have no conscience left in you. I needed to cover up. Please understand, Sarah. Please, you, you have to call pastor back and listen to what he has to tell you. And I think he saw that blood-stained tissue in the living room. So, he needs to hear your voice to be sure we are okay. Let me get you something to eat so you can use your drugs. For now, we'll be here in the morning to check 
to check up on you, okay? I don't want to use any drug. Just let me die. Let me die. I don't want to die. If I be, I'm sorry. I need you beside me. Today is the last day I will ever raise my hand against you. I've learned my lesson. Please. I come just as I am. Save me from myself. I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I can't. Yeah, what happened? You're not eating. I'm eating. I'm just thinking about something. Is this Sarah and her husband? Yes. It's like uh, she's passing through something that she's keeping to herself. You said she has returned to your call and promised to see you on Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. But, but the, the way she sounds on phone was not too good. I, I know she's not fine and she kept saying I'm fine. fine. But she's not fine. The miscarriages she has has really broke her. Hmm? And it's not mad though. Have we also talked to her on Sunday? You know, we have been waiting on God for children for the past 12 years and we are still standing firm in faith. Their marriage is not up to two years. And there are many people that pass through issues that are worse. But let her testify to the goodness of God. She should take things easy on herself. I think it's beyond that. Mm. I just pray that God should be right. Then let's leave everything to God. God will take control. So eat your food, you're getting cold. freshened up. Hey, what's the matter? You're not looking bright. I'm not happy. What? I actually came for us to talk. What happened? What happened? Is it about the pregnancy? That's one of the reasons. So let's talk. Okay, we can talk. If you choose to leave the pregnancy, that's okay with me. I can even take care of the bills. So what's it about? I'm ready for that. I can't keep it. Because I'm not ready to leave my marriage. Oh. Good, fine. So terminate it. If you need me to take care of the bills, I'll do that. The money is not the problem. But there's something else. Oh. That bothers me. Oh. Are you willing to share that? Why not? It's about Daniela. What happened to her? Hey. Is she pregnant? How do you know she's pregnant? Is there something you need to tell me? Hmm. Alex told me she's one of the big girls on the on the campus, and um, you know all those girls, 
They patronize nightclubs. Actually, they are strippers. And you know, these politicians give them big money and end up taking them to bed. Jesus Christ. Daniela did what? Ah! Ah! Oh my baby, me Hey! Huh? Ah. Hmm. Look, look. Hmm. Calm down. Calm down, okay? I thought you were already aware of this. I thought you you knew. But how did your son get to know about this? I hope he's not the one who introduced her to it. No, I don't really think so. Alex wouldn't have told me if he was involved in the first place. You know, Alex is a DJ. And I believe they must have met at the nightclub. Oh. No wonder I saw a mask inside that wardrobe. But she told me she's into acting in school, and I believed her. Uh -huh. But you two, you are not doing well. You kept this from me all along. You never told no, me. No, 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 no. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't shift the blame on me. I thought you were already aware. Who knows? He might have even been a chief of the old block. What did you just say? You know how long you chased after me. I'm not cheap. I, I didn't say. I didn't say you're cheap, but imagine whatever you have done for me, you could have done it for all other men. Aren't we here now? So you don't trust me? It's not about trust. But you know I did all that because I love you. You know what about love? Please, let's cut all this. Let's talk about her pregnancy. What's your decision? You actually hurt me with your words. That's the truth. Okay, if it's about that, I'm sorry. But please cut this whole affair. Let's talk the, the real matter. What's she doing? Is she getting rid of the pregnancy? She does not even know who's responsible. Oh, I thought Emanuela was a sharp girl. I thought sharp, sharp girls on campus are always very smart. She told me she was drunk when it happened. I couldn't recognize the man that got her pregnant. She said it happened, yeah, two months ago. In Jan Wait, wait, wait. Two months ago? Yes. J and K hotels downtown. Yes. Ha. Huh.
thinking about? Does Daniela have a mark on the right side of her stomach? It was at J and K hotels two months ago. Don't tell me you. How was I supposed to know? I, I, she was wearing a mark, and I was. I really do not have anything to say. Did he tell you how he always ties me up like an animal anytime he wants to make love to me? Yeah. And when I refuse to be tied, he will beat me till I become weak. And then after he's done, he will not start begging me not to leave him. <laughs> Did he also tell you how he orders me around like a slave? And when I refuse to be trampled upon, he will beat me up. Did he tell you all that? Do you know that he also made me leave my job and lost two pregnancies? <laughs> two pregnancies. <sighs> what have I done to myself? Woo! Ah. Woo! Yeah! Oh. Ah. Can't I behind the mask anymore? Lord, I come naked another shade for you know me inside and out, master. I come just as I am, save me. From myself, I can't hide behind the mask anymore. Lord, I come naked and not ashamed for you. I said, oh, oh. I can't hide yeah. behind the mask anymore. Lord, I can't make it. Lord, I can't make it. I Shut